Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited about this week's video because this week I'm going to be talking about five reasons why you're missing out on opportunities. Now, a quick backstory. Last Sunday, my pastor preached about missed opportunities, and what I took away from that is a lot of times when we miss out on opportunities, it's for a good thing. It's for good. It's a good thing, and it's a good thing because that thing that you thought you wanted and you thought you couldn't live without, or that person you thought you wanted and couldn't live without, honey, they would have sucked your energy, they would have cleaned your wallet out, cleaned your home out, and in some cases, you probably would have lost your life dealing with them. So, missed opportunities can, ha can be both good and bad. Sometimes we miss out on opportunities, and you're like, Jesus, I missed out on a great opportunity, and it's never going to come back around. It just never will. Or it could, could, could come back around, but not in the way that it did the first time. Or sometimes those opportunities, like I said, just, you know, they will come back around, but you've got to be ready so the next time that opportunity presents itself, you can jump on it. So let's jump right on in. So number one, we miss out on opportunities because we are wasting time. The quickest and most regular way to miss an opportunity is to waste your time. This could be in the form of spending hours watching television, partying, procrastinating, being on social media when you should be doing something else, and so life moves on with or without you. Life moves on with or without me, okay? So if you're spending your time on fruitless activities and opportunities are flying past you, you probably won't see them. Do you know how many times I've missed out on opportunities because I, mm, my focus was here, but I should have been looking over there. So I missed out on great opportunities. Now, I have had opportunities... I have had times where those opportunities presented themselves again, sometimes better than they did the first time. Sometimes not so great. And sometimes, like I said, they just didn't come back. So you can't be wasting time. Number two, mixing with the wrong people. And y'all know I've talked about this before. Don't expect to find open doors and make high quality connections if you're mixing with the wrong people, period. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. So both personally and professionally, if you, you are the company that you keep. I am the company that I keep. So we have to be very mindful about that. So if you spend your time around people who are negative or consistently want to distract you from your big goals, then you are going to, then you're going to not only miss out on opportunities that come close, but you're also not going to find them anywhere within a hundred mile radius. So I always tell you, you can love everybody, you can like everybody, but not everybody has a right to have to a seat in your inner circle. And you have to always remember that it's not that I don't love people. It's not that I don't like them, but they just have no place in my inner circle because they're content with where they are. They say, oh, child, you know what? I'm happy where I am. I don't need nothing else in life. Well, you know what? The devil's a lie because I do need more in life and I want more in life and I deserve more in life. So I'm not content with being just where I am, but many people are. Doesn't mean that I don't like them or I don't love them, but I just have no desire to keep them in my inner circle. So number three, not focusing. So this is com this is a common problem for the creative entrepreneur. Coming up with, with a new idea every day sounds exciting, right? But it will result in missed opportunities. You need to remain focused. I need to remain focused on our core business and core purpose. And only then will opportunities relevant to that goal come your way. If you are always changing your mind and your focus, you will end up spinning around on the spot and go nowhere quick. Okay, been down that road. And so now I know that when uh, a great opportunity comes to me, I can write it in my vision book and I can go back and look at it later on. So I can do one of two things. I can look at it and say, oh, you know what, this was a great idea, but it's not really for me. And I can pass it on to somebody else. Or I can say, hey, this was a great idea. I think I'm going to run with this. But only after I finished the core thing that I was working on. Number four, not taking risks. Opportunities are often disguised as risks. Well, what the world calls a risk, right? It is, in fact, just something out of the ordinary. Something that hasn't been done before. Only when you're willing to break the mold and take a risk will you see more and more opportunities. Because remember, it isn't crowded going the extra mile. So what does that mean? Well, that means that, you know, if the crowd is here, because nobody wants to take a risk. This is this is a sure thing right here. But you've got to be that person that says, I'm going to take a risk, a risk and I'm going to step out and go to my right 
or to my left or, or straight ahead because it's not crowded out there. See, everybody's trying to be right here, but I want you to step outside of that, take that risk. And I'm doing that for myself, especially in this, this year. I did it a little bit in 2017, not a whole lot, but in 2018, I'm going to step out and take more risks. Number five, last but not least, fear. Fear will cause us to miss out on opportunities. A classic reason... A classic reason women miss opportunities is the fear of the unknown, fear of failure, fear of success. What you need to realize is that men feel the same fear, although they also know that if they listen to that fear, they can miss opportunities for the ultimate success. Now, let me let me say this. I read that, but I don't to totally agree with it because even as even as a woman, I do fear the unknown. Okay, I fear success. I feel failure. Just fear, uh, fear failure, just like everyone else. Y'all, excuse me, my nose is itching. Um, but I know that if I don't step out there, and when I say step out there, I'm talking about stepping out on faith. See, that, that's a whole nother video. But stepping out on faith, when I can say, okay, Lord, I know you're telling me that I need to do this, or you're showing me that this is the thing that I need to do. I am afraid because what if I fail? I'm afraid because what if I succeed? Guess what? People are going to want me to do more and more. And I don't know if I can do that. So when I step out there, I am putting on the whole armor of God. And I'm stepping out there on faith. Saying, all right, Lord, if this is the thing that you want me to do, I'm going to step out there. But I need you to be with me as I go. Again, that's a whole nother video. But, so I said all that to say that, yes, women fear, but we still step out and we do it afraid. We, we, we have that fear, but we do it afraid anyway. And so I want to encourage all of you, no matter what it is in your life, no matter how big or how small it is, step out there even when you're afraid and just do it. Because guess what? Only one or two things are going to happen. Either it's going to be a success or it's going to be a failure. But you're not going to know that if you don't step out there and do it. And, you know, I, I talk to people all the time. And they say, you know, Michelle, I really want to do X, Y, and Z. And I look at them and I go, okay, well, why aren't you doing it? Oh, girl, I am so afraid. Afraid of what? Well, you know, what are people going to say about me? What, what, what are they going to think about me? Um, what, what if I fail? And I said, well, what if? But if you never step out there and do it, you're not going to know. So I say step out there and do it. Stop letting fear hold you back. So let's do a quick recap on the five reasons that you're missing out on opportunities. Number one, we said it was wasting time. Stop wasting time doing things that are not going to get you closer to your goals, closer to your dreams, closer to your destiny. Okay? Stop wasting that time. And it doesn't matter how you're wasting it, just cut it out. Uh, number two, mixing with the wrong people. Some of you all are, are hobnobbing, if you will, with the wrong people. Some of you have the wrong people in your inner circle. Some of you have the wrong people right here in your ear. you got to get rid of them because they're content where they are. And some of them don't want to see you get ahead. And some of them don't want to see you get in further than what they did. So you got to get rid of those people. Number three, not focusing. You're, you're focusing either on the wrong things or you're not focused on anything. So I need you to get focused, get focused, get focused. Number four, not taking risks. That is huge. You have to step out there and take some risks. You just have to. And like I said, if, it doesn't, if you don't succeed, you write down, you know, what you did and you figure out what went wrong, what you could have done better, and you try it again. And number five, last but not least, is fear. Fear will keep you from doing so many things in life. Fear has kept me from doing so many things in life, and I just refuse to continue to live in fear, okay? And I want you all to refuse to continue to live living in fear. So that is all I have for you guys today, and I want to say thank you so much to my newest subscribers. I just, you know, appreciate every time I get that little notification on my phone that I have a new subscriber. Thank you so much to those of you that continue to support me in all that I do. I love you guys to the moon and back. I love you all because I couldn't do it without you. I looked at my numbers and I see that my channel is growing and I'm so thankful for that. But again, I can't do it without you. So thank you. And again, as my web saying thank you. Don't forget to go to my website and get your travel certificate. If you haven't, if you're new to my channel, the travel certificate I'm offering two travel certificates. You have to go to my website, Michelle is making it happen.com. Excuse me, y'all, my nose is itching. I think it's my lights. It's really making my skin sweat today. So I'm so sorry. But go to my channel, Michelle is making it happen.com 
and click on the thank you tab. On under that tab, you will see two certificates. One is a one to four night hotel stay. The other one is an airfare. No, I'm sorry. It is a not a one to four night hotel stay. I'm sorry. It is a Las Vegas one to four night stay in Las Vegas, and the other one is airfare and hotel for two. Get your certificates. Once you get them, you will and read carefully because you have 30 days to activate that certificate. Okay, so whatever that fee is, I believe the the airfare and hotel for two is $199 per person. Can't beat that at all. That's all your taxes and stuff included. So, and the other one for Vegas, I believe it's um, $50 to redeem the certificate. And then uh, it's like $35 a night or something like that. When you get the certificate, you'll see it. Make sure you read it. Again, it's my way of saying thank you so much because I truly appreciate each and every one of you. And until we meet again, I want you guys to stop missing out on opportunities. Get out of your fear. Get out of yourself. Step out there. Take a chance. Take a risk and do something that you really want to do. Now, as long as it's legal. I have to put that out there because I don't want y'all to say, well, Michelle, you say it. No, as long as it's legal, okay? Again, love you guys so much. We'll talk again next week. Until then, take care. <laughs>